How's it going everyone? Welcome back to more wizard chess. I have leveled up Hiss. I'm going to take another stab at the Philoso Slither. We've done G, moving our way up to F. We will now have the Beetle to contest with. We are going to start with the Rogue, Lancer, Merc, and Monk. Merc and Monk. Just kind of fun to say back to back. I have nothing else to add beyond that. I really, really like the Monk. It's going to be a fun one to show off. I don't know. Okay, yeah, okay. You can't use the Monk in the maze. Just mechanically, it wouldn't work. It doesn't make any sense. And so you end up with kind of this like secret character, the chicken, that you get to run around in the maze with. Uh, there... That was, that was strange. It was strange that it didn't show that tile as being interactable when it definitely was. Here's where things get hairy. Okay, I have just enough space there. But, rescue inbound, good to know, good to have. And yes, I there was a real chance it was going to land somewhere over there and I wasn't going to be able to make use of it. That's like damn lucky that I was able to run out of there with everything, with everything intact. Attack for the rogue. Uh, a second monk, same stats, different element as the one I already have. Temporarily gain plus two attack after being attacked. The Merc will get more out of that than any other. Uh, base stat, Rogue, ooh, and higher skill, also we're gonna send that to my, my better Rogue, Hetish. I have a little more faith in them. So, the Monk has a special ability. Uh, skill before attacking, give all adjacent tiles a defense buff. You know, it's kind of fine. Uh, plus skill divided by two. And enemies, a defense debuff, but the more important thing, when swapping places with another unit, this effect is doubled for the unit moved. So, you can teleport your own units or enemy units, uh, and there's really cool ways to take advantage of that. So, for example, this Lancer for attack, I, let's see, debuff minus skill divided by two. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower their defense by one just by being adjacent and by swapping it's doubled so i will lower their defense by two i don't want to leave him anywhere precarious where he's gonna get messed up but i need something where i can get that attack low enough you cannot teleport gremlins there's a few special units where that doesn't work for but the imp his defense is lowered down to four. Oh, and the rogue attacks diagonally of course Give all a uh, okay. Uh, debuff defense debuff minus scale divided by two. So it should have been one, and then when swapping doubled, bringing it back up to two. I feel like that calculation it ended up as two times two minus four. Not how I anticipated that working out. But you can totally mess around with things. Uh, by just kind of teleporting units around. It's very fun. You can give a rogue a nice big boost, but it doesn't count as him moving, apparently. So he doesn't get poise. I wasn't sure about that. Uh, it's good to know. I move him there, he'll get his poise. And then I need to bail, actually, because that guy's going to drop a bomb. Oh, if that snake remained, I would have slithered my way right up against him. I guess slithering's more his thing, but you know, dealt with regardless. I, this monk I can't make a lot of use of in this organization of my units since he's not next to anyone who attacks. Let's see, uh, this imp, get a big knockdown on that imp. It's just fun, it's just fun to teleport units around you can cause a lot of damage. And it's especially useful on this layout where hmm, you're gonna come to me. Well, that makes it even easier to avoid the bomb while still getting the killing blow. Uh, the maze structure of the desert makes it really, really hard to deal with these sorts of things. And so it's it's very nice to be able to trap units in, in this way. So, you know, I kind of just had some crowd control. I go to them, bring them to me. It's a little bit easier to, to clear the board when you don't have to chase units down. So the, the monk, always a good unit, really, really effective in the desert. So the beetle, new unit I have to contest with now, never face a bug in a boxing ring. Beetles can burrow underground, moving to areas that might otherwise be unreachable. So if he was over here somewhere, he can just pop up on the other side. You gotta be careful about that. 
And that might determine the range he's allowed to burrow, the, the skill. I kind of forget if or how that is calculated. If he were to move, he still wouldn't quite be able to get my Lancer there. It would be a little, little dicey. Let me start messing around with with uh, the monk again. <laughs> it's such a fun, effective way to dish out as much damage as possible, especially on like the first turn like that. So, you have been pulled in. You're going to deal with that guy on your own. I moved the Lancer up to combo with that rogue to take care of that beetle. I'd say that's coming together quite well. I could just move the rogue. Actually, I'm... Oh, he's, he's constricted because of the python. So, I can't make use of his poise. Actually, he has enough damage. He'll, he'll take him out anyways. So, I, I don't have to worry about that either. And, because the rogue attacks diagonally, I'm going to pull this little grappler into his range as well. Making big use of the monk. The monk is <laughs> a little bit of a cheat. Uh, at, at, least, at least in these early days here. I'm sure there are counters for it. But while it's an option, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take full advantage. So, no one can be monked in... I guess, I guess I can do something like bring uh, that imp over and get rid of it. That gremlin. Eh. <laughs> uh, can I teleport the bomb? I think I need to. And then it's going to blow up on my bard, which I'm not super excited about. But I kind of just needed to do it. Give a defense debuff to the size of skill. So he lost two defense minus one. Shell shock. So that indicates to me that it's temporary. I'm, I'm hopeful that it's temporary. I really don't want that to be a permanent negative that I have to worry about. Let's have some fun pulling units into range to just beat up on. Uh, that imp doesn't really have many places it can go to, yet not a major concern. The two monks is kind of fun to have because now I can just keep... What, what, what's Goku's thing? Instant teleportation, instant transmission? It's Surely it has a cooler name than what I'm currently saying. I kind of want to just go chase him down. Here, let me, let me slip this monk in to deal... Or not monk, rogue. Just all in on the monks. Then uh, the little boost from the bard there. That worked out really, really well. I, I guess I can swap in one of my units. Uh, there you go. You have a nice high attack. I'm so used to using it to swap the enemy units. There we go. Got a little bit more out of it that way. Extra Vim. Definitely time for a shop. Quite a bit earned. Higher attack. You can give attack to your monk. Totally a viable strategy. Kind of just mess around with things. Gain defense after moving. I don't think using your skill in that way counts as moving. Um, but if I combo that with my rogue, then he gets defense and attack when moving, which I find quite fun to mess around with. And honestly, I don't think I want any of those guys. Lose defense for each friendly unit of the same element. Oh, and it's earth. I don't have any other earth. So he actually wouldn't lose anything. Let's, let's try that one out and we'll try and replace that trait. <laughs> Somewhere in the nearish future, because it's not great. I don't really want him to have that. I only have my one monk with me this time. What, whatever will I do? <laughs> I'm screwed. Uh, here, let's. I'm gonna pull this beetle. He's a little bit more. Then, then I, I don't leave myself as exposed by pinching myself between units. There, there's the burrowing in action. You gotta worry about. I could swap something over to him. Like, I, I think I'm going to play around with that a little bit. And let these units kind of come to me. Perfect. That's basically exactly what I was asking for. Uh, let's give you a defense reduction so that both units can get taken out. And now we just don't worry about this python. That is... 
you know, a little bit annoying to get to, except for when you can teleport. <laughs> As if that, it's my go-to. It's the same way when I first introduced the rogue, I used the rogue for everything. You know, it's like when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I feel like that's kind of the position I'm in currently. I'll, I'll take egg out into the maze, sure, why not? Uh, and we're we're early days in terms of unlocks and things within this game. The longer we play, the deeper into it we get. Again, there, it wasn't displaying the full range of where you could actually move. Then, you know, I'll start to worry about some of these other things. Okay, a lot, a lot falling apart. I think I can do it. I think I can make it to every chest. Nicely done. All right. Well, I wasn't certain. Wasn't certain at first. A new Lancer. How do you compare to the one I already have? Almost entirely the same uh, extra attack. Well, let's give you something new then. I already have a rogue. See, it keeps dishing out very base units. And I miss when you can skip them for for a trade-off of like Vim or, or anything really. Uh, there's a bunch of these units I don't actually want at all. I would rather be refining my party down to like a really strong core. Uh, well, I'm gonna trade my crappy dog for that better dog. No, I don't, that's, that, that, that would add up to be so poorly so quickly. <laughs> way, way against me heavily at least. So two, if he stays still multiple turns, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's just better than what he's currently got. Raised defense, who feels vulnerable while well, I have these multiple rogues. I'll swap that one out. I'm going to leave all of them alone. I'm going to go to this other shop. Extra attack. Are any of you strong enough? That's a pretty good Javelina. And he'll lose skill. Nah, he's really good as he is. So I'm going to add that in. And I have two other rogues. There you go. Now I have two decently powered rogues. I should get a lot out of that. I could probably take this to the boss already and fare quite well. And considering I've almost... Now there's still the other shop to worry about. Hmm. I'm not happy with the positioning of that, of that gremlin, actually. He... And I don't have a monk right now. See, that's why I didn't want my party to get added to is that I, I, I stop taking the units I want into battle with me. This is bad. I he, That's going to blow up all over my units. I, I'm going to start moving units away from it immediately knowing that uh, oh do you know what that's actually fantastic. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> I uh, have exposed myself. He's going to kill that rogue now. Why wouldn't you do that? I have no reason to be upset about it. It's great for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the hell out of the way, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he plans to do with that unit, if anything, but pff, jokes on you, I guess, man. Hmm. The two of them together could, could close me in if I move in there. The maze, the maze is making things tricky. Oh man, high skill. I can't even, I can't even lancer him with either of my lancers. So that is quite limiting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a few turns setting things up here. Uh, I, if, yep, yeah. <laughs> basically, if any of those units move whatsoever, it was gonna mess that up. But fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll make do here shortly. There we go. That's what I needed. Put yourself in position there. That guy's a, a well and truly just a coward. <laughs> Apparently has no plans to stick around. You will be easy enough to dispatch and then I'll, I'll just flee. How? Maybe if I start attacking like there is something. The odds that he goes and walks into that precise location are low but yeah okay I was a little bit a little bit hoping for that you have nice high defense so let's get you over there and I hope he steps into that there it is exactly what I was looking for uh, and hopefully oh dang 
Oh dang, uh, his attack bonus must have been from standing next to him? Hmm, not what I was hoping for. Ooh, also not as strong as I pictured. I better move the dog in there to set that up. All right, good, he left the grappler in place. So now at least this guy will start getting lonely and we can try and get him taken care of. Uh, I kind of want him to attack me because I want, <laughs> if I, I just fully corner him, then you can't, can't keep running from me. Uh, there it is, there, that's what I needed. A little, I don't know what was up with that, the AI on that one skeleton. Full coward mode. Uh, two, after being attacked, we have so much of that one, keeps coming up. Let's give it to one of my rogues, doesn't matter too much. Do I want to do another an, another maze and another shop? I'm not so certain. I'm starting to have to deal with a lot of these champion units though, which I'm, is not good. He could kill any unit. He could kill multiple units if he moves the right way. You luckily will kill this python. And I'm tempted to throw the javelin to kill the one behind at the same time. I don't have monks again. I don't. I keep not upgrading them, so they keep falling to the bottom. Oh, not even with a skill check. One six chance to take three additional damage when attacked. So if I moved you up for seven damage, and I got really lucky, then I would I would take him out. Uh, the odds of that are quite low. And he's very high odds of him moving in place to kill my guys. I'm I'm just gonna wait and see what he does, basically. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, that was uh, looking incredibly likely. <laughs> um, that's gonna be so hard to corner, actually. That's a devastating. I wonder if I should just ran straight to the boss. Uh, all these other units I, I have, like, no cause for concern with. Uh, I can blast right through there and I'll kill the python as well. And now, this is my main source for concern in, like, every way. Eight. I have to get eight at least. Well, I... It's gonna take so many multiple turns to move enough things in place to get my my guy who has enough attack or my rogue either in either instance i'm like three moves away from from getting a, a unit in position oh god does he attack diagonally oh god no <laughs> oh shit um not where i thought he was gonna move i thought at worst in the process of setting that up I was going to risk losing, uh, like, two two more units. That was a lot. That was hefty. Um, not excited about that at all. <laughs> you stupid grappler. Um, that was rough. That was really rough. Well, that's a big swing here. There, There's the added challenge of this biome, is playing a unit of that level. Oh, you sucker. Uh... Even with the boost from the bard, it won't be enough. Oh, but he's lonely, so he'll start losing stats. So it's not going to take long to be at a place where I can deal with that. Okay, yeah, the lonely... I was going to start moving everything around, setting up a longer-term strategy, but not needed. Uh, okay, not, not great. Uh, okay, but I, I can give you something to overwrite your negative trade immediately. All right, now we have to go to a maze. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, risked this guy. Oh, I can use his skill to cover more of the board. No, I can't. Oh, you're going to be very ill-suited to this. Luckily, these are very clustered. Uh, so I can try and cover as much ground as possible. See, I think it's somewhere where the chest most recently was. It won't show you the trail anymore. I think that's what's happening in those cases. What is focused all the added defense? Uh, it's funny, that's like stacking. I really, really thought that that was temporary and went away after one turn. Maybe that's only behaving differently because we're in this maze. 
Uh, well, I can't make it to the unlock thing anymore. <laughs> uh, this looks slightly less broken. Yeah, rope is not coming to the rescue here. Very sorry. Just gained him. Just applied that positive trait and he's gone. You still get the rewards. But at what cost? Alright, I'm down to two rogues and, and one's quite weak. Well, I'm back up to three rogues. But I really don't feel that I want that one. He's just not that great. Huge stats on this Lancer. I do want him. You're going on the team. Added defense. Gain one attack for each friendly unit of the same element deployed. What do I have a lot of? I have a lot of wood. So you would gain a lot out of that. And low defense. Do you know what? I'm going to do this strategically. Uh, so that egg goes to the front here. So I can take egg into this maze. That's, he'll, the Merc is just going to be able to get a lot more done. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it, is that, is that too many? I, I should go here first. I should go deal with these ones and then reevaluate after the fact. I uh, see, so those movement options are highlighting, hopefully, you know. Ben or Ricky, the devs behind the game, 2PM Studios. Hopefully this footage helps them and they can <laughs> determine why that's not always... The movement options weren't always displaying. Oh, well, I'm officially not making it over to that one. So let's save the unit and claim our rewards. Extra skill. Always good for a rogue. <laughs> Wounded, I don't really want you. Sorry, bud. Not in great shape. You can have higher attack. Dang, I ended up with a lot of crappy units just then. I wonder if I could intentionally kill them. Is that insane? Is that insane? <laughs> do you know what? Uh, I'm going to kind of try to do that. You're quite safe. You're nice and strong. Big beefy boy. You'll, you'll do all right. That's a lot of attacks being pushed out that way. You are very vulnerable, but you also are one of the cursed ones. So maybe I actually don't care that much if you get killed. There we go. Took out some of the most concerning ones. Hey, you pulled me away from the bomb. Weirdly quite helpful, actually. Uh, and I don't really want you guys to get bombed, but I kind of want you to die. <laughs> Um, I don't, I've never done this. I've never purposefully tried to tank a, a team. See, so there, there's one of my cursed guys gone. I, uh, you are next. You will get killed. I, I kind of don't want you to run your imp away. Just leave that in place. Hey, we killed that guy. That worked out. Excellent. Now here's where I need to start being more cautious because I've purposefully lost a few units to kind of cull the team a little bit. And now I have to start thinking through how do I actually kill everything. <laughs> I kind of want you to stay. Can I use my skill within that range? I can't actually. So that does nothing for me. But... Nice big range on the Javelina there. There's one way to get rid of a unit. Um, five attack. All right, let's 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 get you two involved with one another. You're not contributing much. Who cares? Yep, perfect. <laughs> this is stupid. I think it's stupid, but I'm also letting it happen. Uh, I forget. There used to be a thing in the game where you could uh, javelin your own units. Uh, and it's it's entirely like people were mad about it. But it's like, well, it's a strategic thing that you have to consider. And you might accidentally make a mistake. So there it is. That It does still happen. Uh, there we go. We can take him out. So my three cursed units are all now dead. I don't think I lost anything other than those units. 
So I, oh God, I don't want you. You're, you're, you're garbage. You're not adding to my team. <laughs> my monks are all the way at the back, man. Well, I have, I have this one. I don't know if I'll be able to get all, all of them into my team here. I don't want to keep adding units. I don't, so I don't want to keep doing combat. So I'm going to risk going up against the boss. Uh, oh, I don't know. Let, let's just fight again. I'm only interested in hearing my own voice. So I didn't get a chance to see uh, what all that extra dialogue is. It's fine. So I have three. I do have all three monks with me. I think I have all my units. So <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot to work with there. All right. I can't use the monk on the shield orb. That's a little bit too big of a cheat. Six attack, five, five. So you're my strongest guy, right next to a monk. Uh, and you are among the most worrying units. Maybe the most? I think so. Uh, the highest defense and very high attack. So let's, let's bring him down and, and mix that up. I don't know. Take three additional damage when attacked. I don't know why he got hurt. Didn't I, I didn't make sense to me. Uh, so when you're matching three skill versus three skill, the Lancer wins. So I can take out that beetle with my guy here. He takes three every turn, even though he's not the one being attacked. Uh, uncertain on that one. Can't get another unit over to help with this very easily. Is there any other fun hot swapping I could do? I, I'm just gonna start trying to set up my my next plans. So you let's just get those two together. They'll deal with that. He has eight attacks, so I should definitely be swapping something over to him as well. Let's, let's do that with the Skellum here. Then I think I, I have a plan that I would like to put into action. Do you know what? The fact that he has skill enough to throw a spear that far is amazing. I'm absolutely going to let that happen. Um, and again, why not? Perfection. Great news for me. I... Okay, he's, he's starting to get a little involved. I might have to be worrying about that a little bit here. What did I what did I want to achieve here? I had an idea. <laughs> uh, first things first, let's just let you do your thing killing that. And now this is this is a multi-turn. Oh shit. Um <laughs> I'm so busy. Oh right, you can't teleport gremlins. Well, that changes everything. I was going to swap him over to here. The Javelina would kill him. Then I was going to teleport the Javelina over to there to kill the Shield Orb. Um, not going to work like that. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, you will kill that egg. Uh, I kind of just want you to stay the hell away from me, man. Uh, luckily, his five attack on its own won't do much damage, but I'm not thrilled with how that's playing out. So I'll kill a couple things on the board here. Um, I can't quite get you in range. And your attack's not high enough on its on your own to kill that shield orb. So I think I'm better off getting the rogue involved. The rogue can go deal with that one. I'll have to move him once to get the poise necessary. The, the amount of eggs suddenly dropping are, are cause for concern. I, d I don't want to deal with you. Let's get, a, let's get a rogue involved, and then I'll have to immediately run him away. Now that we got the bomb on the ground. Jeez, man, he's really getting in the middle there. Oh, the worm. The worm is new to me, actually. Worms crawl on their bellies through the hot desert sands. They only hatch from the eggs of giant serpents and can travel vast distances underground. Their skill. More skillful worms can more accurately target where they move, traveling shorter distances to strike at their foes. Oh, wow. Okay, he has such a strange range of places he could move to. Uh, very interesting, actually. Uh, this is better. No, the other one was better. Uh, it's too late now. 
I was just thinking from angling my way in to go deal with these snakes. Hey, they made it easy for me. Thank you so much for your, uh, your assist. Much appreciated. Oh, shit, yeah. I can't believe you're lined up from so far away. I keep forgetting you have that amazing range. That's so sick. Do it, man. Hell yeah. Shield broken. Body completely surrounded. Uh, so it took out one part of him. Which I, I swore last time I killed just one segment and just one. Maybe I killed the head specifically or something and that's why that worked. I don't think I can teleport his segments. I can't. I can't. Uh, what? What? How, how can I surround him the most then and, and do the most damage here? Let's get the rogue involved for the diagonal attacks. So there's one totally destroyed segment. There, there we go. Huh. I did it. I'm the best. And we got uh, an error cannot load scene. Again, useful for the devs. New unit unlocked, Hunter. And trade unlocked, Blood Blast. Gain one defense for each friendly unit of the same element deployed. Now it's suggesting maybe I go back, do the, the previous level of Core Mag, which I will consider it, because what have I done now? J, I, and H. And now I like the color differential to, to make sure you kind of keep it straight. That You know, he started down at G. So next, next version, I will bring the hunter with me and have to contest with Tengis. All sorts of new things being introduced. That's all, all folding into the revised progression that went with the latest series of patches. Is to make sure that each time you unlock this new tier of the biome, you have new things to experience to keep it fresh and exciting. And I, I think it works very, very well as it currently is. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Wizard Chess. There will be a link down below, and I hope to see you again soon.